Happy fall, everyone. Okay, so I just came back from the Atwater Market uh, here in Montreal, and I discovered something. Like, you can make apple cider mojitos. Like, doesn't that sound like the best freaking fall drink ever? All right, welcome to ecomexpert.io and another video app review where we review Shopify apps. So why do we do this? Whenever you install an app, 30 day free trial or whatever, you install it, it inserts usually a little bit of code inside of your team store. This means that when you delete the app because you're like, oh, I didn't like this, delete. All right, cool. The problem is the code doesn't get removed. So if you do that like 20 times a week, uh, that's gonna slow down your store. And then afterwards you come to me and you're like, hey, Andrew, my store is super slow. I don't see any revenue. People are leaving my Facebook ads. My wife left me. You know, you know. Anyway, this week we are reviewing Smart Push Marketing. It's by Hextom. We did a whole bunch of reviews already by Hextom. And um, we're kind of excited to show you. But first, before you continue, we have noticed that it makes a gigantic difference if you smash that subscribe button and if you like this video, like huge. So if you're like, ah, Andrew, you're an idiot, but I guess you helped me a tiny, tiny bit, just like and subscribe it. This is how I get like repaid. Please like and subscribe. Let's check out the app. The app is installed and we are on the dashboard. But first, have you liked and subscribed? I mean, it means the world to me. I keep saying this to make sure you smash that subscribe button. All right, as you can see, the dashboard is relatively simple. Uh, the usual Hextom design. So first we have app recommendations right under the basic analytics and after that we have app functions. On the left you can find a navigation menu with the functions from the dashboard. Dashboard, subscribe widget, welcome discount, abandoned browser recovery, abandoned cart recovery, shipping notification, back in stock alert, price drop alert, customer win back, okay, campaign, subscribers and segment. Let's start with the subscribe widget. So click on the subscribe widget from the navigation to the left and a new window appears. Yeah! Uh, the first section is reserved for requests for visitors to subscribe to your push notifications. You should turn it on since without this you wouldn't be able to send your push notifications okay the first step is done now we need to set up our prompt widget in your prompt widget you should urge your visitors to become subscribers the preset message is uh, receive our latest discount codes sales and updates not bad but you should definitely change it to something that will fit your brand I mean again I don't do marketing in this one but pretty tip and this is a demo shop so we can just leave it like that but Besides text, in this section you can set uh, time rules, add your store's logo, play with colors, and if you are a paid member, you can remove the Hexton branding. Click on save and we can proceed to the next step, which is the welcome discount. A new window appeared for the welcome notification. Again, uh, the well-known design editor on the left and the preview on the right. You can change your preview for different devices, uh, window, Mac, and mobile. In the editor, you can change the title, the description, and the primary link. Also, if you want to push your visitors even further, you can include a discount code and even include the additional buttons and add your company logo. The next step is the abandoned browser recovery. In case you don't know what the abandoned browser recovery is, it's basically a notification to subscribers who left your store after viewing products without purchasing or doing a card abandonment. All right, now that we know what the abandonment browser recovery is, let's see what we can do in this window. The same template as in the previous step, we will probably see it again throughout the app. So first we get this note, all the links of the abandoned browser push notifications are dynamically generated based on each subscriber's last view product. Huh, that's a nice start. Uh, this app allows you to set time rules, change title and description. Again, you can offer a nice discount and add custom buttons right in the notification. Click on save and it is time for maybe the most exciting part of this app. Yep, you guessed it, right? We are going to look at the abandoned card recovery automation. Let's choose abandoned card recovery from the navigation to the left and a new window appeared. 
Smart Push Marketing app allows you to send up to three notifications after the cart is abandoned. That's pretty amazing, right? Uh, you can choose the time when the notification is sent and the other fields are the same as we had in the previous steps. I like the option that we can set different discounts on each of the three notifications. So click on save and our abandoned cart recovery notifications are ready to rock. All right, next in line is the order shipping notifications. We have three types of notifications. Uh, notifications after an order is paid, notification after the order is fulfilled, and the tracking info notification. Nothing new in terms of customization, except you can't offer a discount with these types of notifications, which, you know, some marketers would argue that this is a warm audience and this is the time to offer uh, another discount. I believe Ezra Firestone, a fantastic marketer, genius in the Shopify uh, world talks about this. Also, all the links and images in the notifications are automatically generated based on the customer's previous behavior, which again is a very nice feature in my opinion. Uh, we still have a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and click on back in stock alert from the left menu. The back in stock alert is, like it says, a notification to subscribers when their desired product is yeah, you guessed it, back in stock. You can also include a discount code to encourage them to buy now. On this window, you can change the title and a description and also add up to two buttons. All right, this is becoming pretty repetitive on my side, so let's check what else we can do with this app. Uh, we can add price drop alerts, notifications to subscriber when the product price is dropped. Pretty interesting. Uh, customer win back automation. So send up to two push notifications to subscribers who have purchased before and bring them back to buy more. This is really important. And I don't think I see enough people doing this. Send promotion push to any selected subscribers group. Create a one-time campaign for promotions or sales and push your awesome deals to any subscriber segment group, basically. All right, let's jump to our demo shop and see what we have done. Here is our first notification. It's working as promised, and I must say it was as easy as A, B, C, D. Actually, this app is so good that we don't have any complaints. That's strange. Also, keep in mind that this app is free up to 100 active subscribers. We have installed, customized, and tested our app. So how exactly do we uninstall this app from the store? Well, you would go to our Shopify dashboard on our left. We have this sidebar menu. First, we will click on apps and a new window pops up. Here we have, as you know, all the apps installed uh, in our store. We're looking for the Smart Push marketing app and where is it? Uh, it's not here, but it's active in our demo shop. All right, we will go to our dashboard, left sidebar again, under sales channel, we click online stores. Uh, a submenu will appear and we select teams. We are taken to this new window where we can view our current team. On the top of our team template, there are two buttons, actions and customize. We will click on action and a drop down menu appears. We will select edit code. Uh, we are taken to a new window where we have the code editing for our app. As you might know, this navigation menu on our left will guide us to track the code. We will click on layout and the menu expands. Then we click on team.liquid and the code opens on our window. Our code should be named Hexom, who are the developers of this app. The app code should be at the bottom of this team coding. So we scroll down and, oh, hey, here it is. Let us highlight this part, then press delete. It's gone, so we can click on the save button on the top right corner and there you go, the asset saved. So let's see whether we will get any notification from our app. Let's go to our demo store and wait. All right, nothing, no notification, and our app is gone. All right, that is it for today, people. I hope you decided whether or not this app is a good fit for you. Now, hold up. Besides like active Shopify development and helping stores maximize their revenue, what do you do? Well, another cool thing that we're going to bring out soon is the Slack app. So if you have Slack, and if you have Shopify, you need to pay attention because we are going to get clues in the next video what we're going to be pushing out. Anyway, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.